Oh, let's see if I see if I say nine. Well, I just did a couple of videos about um, Chappelle, Rowan, and trolls, and I was just thinking about the the subject, and it's like I don't know who wants to be famous, really. Um, I find it really weird um, the way that people think it's something that's not, or they don't understand what it is. Now, being a film student and an artist, I have studied you know, art and celebrities, because that's part of, you know, the media industry in film and TV, and I have a bit of an understanding of a lot of, I know a lot about, I've had a lot of fun reading a lot of biographies about um, artists and icons and performers, and I have a bit of an idea of what they go through and what the other side of that is for them, and what I find funny is the people ignorant of all that who think it's just a big um, fairy tale or that they think it's just them getting to express their art and perform at an audience and not engage and then have sort of that, that audience um, sort of involved in their life or invested in them or, or feeling like they know them or have some sort of um, ownership or entitlement or familiarity or something. And it's just really strange. And I would not want that. I mean, I want a YouTube channel because I like to talk about issues and subjects and, and it's an outlet. It's just, it's just a vlog it's therapy, it's a way for me to talk about things that I like or I find frustrating or annoying. Um, it was mainly set up to protest Star Trek Discovery, like a lot of people set up um, YouTube channels to protest Ghostbusters um, 2016, and then the next year Discovery came out and I sort of jumped on um, that. And also just as a fan of Madonna, but now I'm finding there's more to criticise about Madonna than, than there is to like about her in her current form. Um, but um, I'm going to try and focus on some of the past so I can deal with Madonna and talk about the things I liked and, and sort of do more sort of um, retro sort of videos there. But I, I just, yeah, I just had a few people in my comments occasionally point out that I have a small channel and I don't get a lot of views, like it's going to hurt me or offend me or expose me on some level. Like they assume I must want to be famous, like I must want a huge channel, I must want to be an influencer or something like that. I really don't. Um, because I've had a couple of moments of getting attention and losing an nominee, and I don't like it. I don't want that, and I know what that is. I would never want to be famous. Um, I want to create some art that I'm working on and stuff in different formats and um, so forth, but, um, and I wouldn't use my own name for any of that, so you'll never know, but, um, and I'm not, but um, I want that to get attention, people to connect to that. I don't necessarily want them to, it's not about me, I'm not the subject, I'm not the object. Um, I would like to create things that people might um, look at or enjoy or relate to or something like that. But I don't want to be famous. A lot of people do that stuff to be famous. They're just going through the motions to get fame and they're not actually interested in expressing themselves or creating art. They just want to be famous. Um, some people want to, you know, create art and, you know, they become famous through that. And... There are different degrees of people who know what they're getting into and people who don't. Um, people who want fame but don't realise what it is. People who want success and get fame. Uh, it's very different things, but I have no interest in fame. I just want to be able to talk about things, express myself, share my opinions, and I want to create my art and not have me be who I am affect that or, or me be affected by it. So I'm quite happy to keep that separate. And, um, yeah, so... I, I thought it was interesting, I just sort of thought, who wants to be famous? And I see a lot of these influencers all just literally jumping up and down, jumping through hoops, dancing to try and get attention and fame and everything. And now there is, because before it was just Hollywood, then it was more the general media, and now it's like social media, and it's a lot easier for people to get attention and become famous without really earning it and really understanding it or really being prepared for it. So now you see people like Chappelle um, Rowan who seem to have no concept of what industry they're in and what it means. And then on the other side of that is you have people who think that these people do know them and that they're all their friends and um, that they're more connected to people in the community than they actually are because they really don't know them and they just sort of see them as something other. Um, and, you know, I think we've all had that experience in life where you, you think you know someone and you think you're connected to them and then you find out um, you're really only relevant to them in one sort of context, and when that no longer works for them, um, you're not sort of relevant. So relevance is another issue, um, and how it's just, it, fame, celebrity, it's all very complicated, and like I said, I don't know why anyone who understands it, 
from the outside or whatever would actually want it um, on its own. You know, I get like people who want to be successful as a performer, it comes with the territory. But aside from that, you know, who wants to be famous?